dollar or euro Aussie so let's take the euro New Zealand and as you can see just looking at the structure it is actually one of the the strong pairs that we had in the euro last week and again it is your buying point is the same as your structure point these trades are no-brainer trades guys these trades when you have a structure point and a buying point one and the same these are the no-brainer trades so from last week we had our buy at 158.14 and this is it this was the, the buying point and we had the move actually came on friday i mean if you see the move that we had on friday it, it tested it once on thursday came back and then the next time it came above the 158 14, 14. it actually had a very good decent move because the the, the new zealand had a, a pretty weak session on friday across the board so with that we are again it confirms our bias and we want to take it long the one thing that i don't like about this trade is that it pretty much closed at the high today it's a big range day and it is also a close at the dead high so i'm assuming that this is what we call a distressed close so i want to make sure that that sucker continues higher so the high is 158.65 so I'm going to buy it above 158.65 so you can buy it 158.70 but again I'm trying to remain true to the form so if again so if the high let's make it 158.66 which is the, I'll keep it so I can stay to, true to the form the next structure point is the 159 four which remains the same and uh, if I buy it above 158.65 unfortunately the only place I can place my stop is below the market side so my stop is going to be the 158.33 on the short side just looking at our intraday chart you can see a very interesting setup there is the high of the day or your momentum high we had a pretty nice distance in between them and we have pushed higher we have a one day high we have a three day high we have a momentum high so that is a pretty nice let's call it a turtle soup setup so we don't need to force the issue of going short unless it comes and trades below the 158.29 which is the three daily high so our short is going to be from here that would be our short and our stop will be right above the high at 158.40 so we will short it below 158 25 we have a structure short point the 155.99 I'm going to leave it there even though we might have a, an early one but we're going to leave that here because it should give us a good push to the downside and my stop is going to be the 158.34 so my bias is to the upside i'm going to buy this above the high of the day which is the 158.65 and if i do i have a structure point at 159.04 and my stop is going to be the 159.33 158.33 on the short side i'm going to go short below 158.25 and my structural short point is way down there 155.99 and my short stop is going to be the 158.34 all right that is the